In our Health Watch report, Local 3's Connie Fellman shows us how to spot the difference in your loved ones when it comes to delirium or dementia. More than 5 million people in the U.S. are living with dementia. It affects attention, memory, and judgment. Dementia is often confused with delirium, and a misdiagnosis could affect treatment. Here are some ways you can distinguish between dementia and delirium and get the help for your loved ones that they need. So More than 7 million mantra, hospitalized like, oh, patients in the U.S. will experience some form of delirium every year. 45% of those patients will have persistent delirium at discharge, and 26% will experience delirium three months after being in the hospital. When delirium lasts that long, could it be something else? It is sometimes very difficult to di differentiate between delirium and dementia because sometimes they are superimposed on each other. Since cognition impairment is present in both conditions, how can you spot the difference? The main difference between delirium and dementia is delirium develops acutely and it tends to fluctuate. So, so the patient could be fine at one moment and very soon they can be fluctuating. Dementia is a chronic condition. Delirium is short-lived and mainly affects attention, while dementia mainly affects memory. And the most important distinction between the two conditions is that delirium is reversible, while dementia is not. If by a few months after discharge, if they feel that the things are not getting better and those symptoms are persistent, then it might be time to go over to a specialized uh, memory clinic. Get a proper diagnosis to get the help your loved one needs. Dr. Khan also reports that COVID-19 has sent delirium rates skyrocketing. Up to 75% of COVID-19 patients have been affected by delirium. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Connie Fellman, Local 3 News.